so uh, so far we have uh, created the index tab and uh, we have created the general summary and just added the header and logo and the name of the tab so now coming to the one very important uh, part of this power bi which is joins or you can say if we have two tables and they have similar kind of data then how we can club them or merge them or we can bring them together so for that we need to move to the transform data transform data and it will take us to the power query editor or you can say editor so here so we have this matches table and if you see there are uh, all all records from 2018 to 2018 and now we, i want to import morgan table so let me just go here text and csv it will take me to the source where my data is there and just i need to click there and open and it will import the data directly here so I, I believe this part was clear already because we have done this in the previous sessions and if you see we have match one which was our original table or you can say query and now we have match two which we have just imported okay so if we see the data is almost same almost means each and every column is same umpire one two three venue all these are same so a very important thing comes to my mind that these two datas are same so we can we can club them this two datas into one so how we can do that so to do this we have a very important function that is called join <clears throat> so if we come to the this function combine on the extreme uh, right hand side if you click on the drop down then you will three you will see two options there merge queries and append queries okay so we will see this two in detail let's first see merge queries what is merge query so when we talk about merge query then it's basically merge two table into one okay let's go to the power bi okay merge means and how it does it does through various uh, functions which are embedded in it let me just click on this if i click on that function it will open up a new window <coughs> this window will ask for two this will this window will ask for two tables which uh, i need to uh, club or, or or merge okay so one table is there and from here i can, I can select the second table okay and then they, they will appear here so then, then i need to just click select the uh, column which is common in both of them okay similar to vlookup i believe everyone has 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 applied vlookup so this is a similar kind of vlookup okay so this is what merge queries does and in the downside you will have different types of options left outer right outer full outer inner left empty all this okay so we will see this this is a very important part so we will see this in detail so to show this i have just a small table here where it is yes here okay so that this is four are very important uh, parts cross join cross join what it does in cross join there are two tables or more tables can there can be and if one table has 10 10 column 10 rows and the other column has five rows then they will join together and create 15 rows table means everything will be clubbed together nothing will be left out okay in this cross join 
and when we come to the inner joint inner joint there's a small visual for you so inner joint what it does whatever common is there in both the tables you can see there is a table on the left <coughs> and on the right and the green rows are common okay so this the common ones will be taken out and and made a table when we use the inner one we will do the practical and yes uh, sorry to go, but uh, where is the cross join but i can see left outer right outer uh okay, you are talking about this one right right yeah yeah i will show that don't worry simple if if you go to this this, this example taking taking this visual then what it will do it will club this one and this both together and and it will be cross join everything will be there nothing will be left out in this visual you can see that okay what is the common on, what is the what is the common one between both set that will take take only no 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 when you apply cross join then everything will be clubbed together nothing will be left out okay in, when you come to the inner inner join then what it does it will only take out the common ones okay okay now coming to the left outer join just give me a minute okay 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 so i believe a cross and inner are clear okay so now coming to the left outer join so what left outer join does here is here is an example okay so this table table a and table b you can see the outcome will be similar to this picture only the common ones which are all the data from column a will be there in the outcome and in column b it will only take those rows which are matching with column a okay the same opposite is done when when we do right outer join right out of your head okay same all the data of the left table will be there but only common ones will be taken from the column a when we apply right outer okay and coming to the full outer what it will do it will be similar to cross join there is a perfect example of this this is also cross join but everything is there okay nothing has been left out right okay and these are the four four major joints which you will be using basically in doing this pop but what thing. about cross join so do you have any picture and anything like demo that kind of left cross outer right outer this is the left outer the join just 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 show you the first the first picture the right outer okay the right okay. outer full outer inner outer but uh, or cross outer no there is cross join there is nothing called cross outer okay 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 they basically there is a outer join which is divided into two parts left outer and right outer okay 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 so i, I believe this uh, join part is clear with you yeah yes okay saurabh kalash yes sorry and yes, ashish sir. sir basically we use these uh, uh, types of joins uh, in connecting two tables right 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 similar to we look up agar hindi mein samjhe to left outer ka matlab jo left wali table hai wo bahar hogi ठीक है अब मतलब आउटपुट में जो लेफ्ट वाली टेबल होगी वो पूरी होगी और जो राइट वाली टेबल होगी उसमें सिर्फ जो कॉमन रोज होंगी वो होंगी आउटपुट में राइट आउटर मतलब कि राइट हाँ राइट आउटर मतलब राइट वाला जो टेबल होगा वो आपके आउटपुट में पूरा आएगा और जो लेफ्ट वाले टेबल से होगा वो हम सिर्फ कॉमन रोज उसमें लेंगे एग्जैक्टली एग्जैक्टली ओके फुल आउटर का मतलब कि पूरी टेबल बाहर आ जाएगी यस कॉम्बाइनिंग बोर्ड में जितना भी होगा नथिंग विल बी लेफ्ट आउट यस फॉर फुल आउटर यस ओके एंड इनर आउटर का मतलब होगा इनर नो नो ओनली इनर जॉइन इनर जॉइन ओनली इनर जो मतलब दोनों टेबल में जो कॉमन पार्ट होगा दैट विल बी योर आउटपुट यस परफेक्ट ओके ओके अंडरस्टूड सो मूविंग अहेड 
so yeah. what okay so that that was the first part the second part is append query what append query does that there are two functions append query and append query as mean append means adding row beneath our table there is already a table there and we want to add some more rows under that table okay for example there are 20 call a uh, 20 rows in a table and what i have another call, a table which has five rows so if i append them both then that they, they will become 25 row table right <coughs> so this is the use of of append query so uh, this fun first function if we use then there will be no new column sorry no new table will be created but when we, we use the second one there will be a new table will be created and the, that two call two tables which are which we have used they will also be there so what i what i want to do i'll just click on this i want to have don't want to create another table so what i will do so here is the option concatenate rows from two tables into a single table okay so all we have two tables so we have selected these two you can use more also as per your wish then tables to append okay so already i have selected match tables to append then now i need to select second table which i have to add to this table okay we are doing append because all the columns are saved in both the tables always remember when you append use append query then you have to have all the columns same okay so now and we have seen that match and match two they have same same columns same number of column number can vary but most of the columns should be same header should be same okay click here and just click okay you can see a step has been added here append query and our data has been added here if if i go okay. here I mean, I, I, oh. sir isme koi duplicacy to nahi aayegi matlab append no, karne no. ke baad no uh, a duplicate duplicate functions will be there it will not delete anything if if the, if one particular row is in both the column, both the tables, then that will exist. Duplicates will be there. Okay, duplicates will be there. Yes, it will not remove anything. Okay, okay. But merge may asani otata, merge may duplicates ni ate. No, in that it's kind of we look up in, in, uh -huh, in merge. Right. Okay. okay, so if I check, let me do once again. If I delete this step from uh, from this and try to check so we are back to our original state so what i'm doing i'm just copying this data to to show you that this is not there and if i select here and put this in the filter so i can see this table is there this particular is row is there <coughs> okay let me pull some other one I mean, simply when each compile okay, I got you. Yes, they will continue to see what it is. Yes. Okay. Right. But if, if, if format will be different, then how do we, uh, how do we do uh, uh, append, append query? So if the if format, format, format means columns are different than what it will do, it will add the additional columns at the end. At the end, it will add the columns. Okay. If there are new columns in the second table. Okay. Okay, okay. Suppose ki agar first column mein dust, first table mein dust column mein, second table mein pandra column mein. So, uh, uh, how do we do uh, append? First, to, first we need to uh, add extra five columns in first table. Uh, what will do? Which, which, uh, which common columns are there? It will add hmm. below it. Okay. And the new columns, which are additional columns, it will add at the right hand side. At here. Right hand side. Extreme right hand side. Yes. Okay. 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 okay, so nothing will be left. Like out number of this. columns should number of columns should be same na, in both the tables. Number of columns? No, it's not uh, compulsory to have the same number of columns. Okay, 
बट इसको करने का फायदा क्या है माना कि ये जब हम कॉपी करना है अमेरिका हम एक टू एक्ट हम कॉपी कर देंगे सेम वाला सेम वहां पर करने का फायदा क्या है माना इसको वट इज द बेनिफिट ऑफ इफ यू आर डूइंग अपेंडेस सिंपली टू लुक वेन यू हैव मल्टीपल टेबल्स इट विल एड द एडिशनल प्रेशर टू योर डेटा मॉडल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट विल इट विल एलिमिनेट दैट प्रेशर जितना द नंबर ऑफ टेबल्स इट विल इट विल ऑक्यूपाई मोर डिस्क स्पेस सेकेंडली when you create any dax or any other function in power bi it will be easy for you to choose pick and drop okay <coughs> both the tables ek table hoga dosto aapko there will be less pressure on this this part there will there will no uh, no requirement of of mapping the data here and there okay ऑटोमेटिक जो सिटी है सिटी के आगे स्टेट कॉलम उसका स्टेट शो कर जाए सो फॉर फॉर दैट आई वोट डी क्लियर दैट क्वेश्चन फॉर यू कैलाश बट स्टिल आई एम रिपीटिंग दैट रिपीटिंग इट you need to have that additional look it will not create the data itself you need you need to feed something here okay 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 you you you, you need to feed in the data to show it okay it will not come automatically if no, i want no. like city in in, in hyderabad so i, no, I will no, show no, it no, in no, no, map no. like map gl1 map no, it, it will automatically it will it will show the data like, uh, 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 Kailash, it will it, it will show the data which you have fed in. It will not create the data for you. Okay, okay. So this was our uh, append query part. So now what we want to do? We do we have all the data in matches table. So. this is an additional file so we don't want to load this matches to on our power query desktop so what we can do we can just right click on this and uncheck the enable load option this will not load this particular data into our power query desktop so let's close and apply and we can see the changes there and then we <coughs> you can see there are only two tables now all the data are imported okay now moving ahead and coming to our report part the visualization part now here we will be adding couple of three uh, cards one card for total number of matches played total number of runs scored and total balls bowled okay So let's click on this. Yes, I I I I'm adding some different like who is three top scorer and uh, who is do, three top. Kailash, Kailash, hold on. Okay. We will do all these things. Okay, okay. Okay. So let's do that first of the header. So I just added here in the border. so we want here total matches played okay so we have here matches if if uh, uh, yeah i'm sorry to we... say can i say something yes please go ahead yeah can add three uh, the top five five batsmen so to have total number of matches what we can do uh, if we look look to the data we have something called, uh, unique which is match id first of all i am aware about this data so i can say that match id is is unique one so similarly you need to know that what is unique here in this data if i look to the seasons then it has uh, years here so this is not unique or you can see here uh, city this is also not unique 
Similarly, you need, need to find that from each column, that which is unique one. Okay. So I know this is unique column. So what I can do, I can just go here, pick the click on my card and go here match with match ID. It, it's alphabetically arranged column name here. Uh, don't confuse from the data. Here the uh, columns are arranged in alphabetic order. So ID is here. So what I can do matches, I can just drag and drop here. Drag and drop and let it appear. It will show us numbers. So it's, it is showing 678K. So let me just click the drop down option here. 678K, it will, it will, that means 678 total games are counted in no, 8, no, no, 8 no, no, to wait, wait, 8. Plus. Wait, I'm not yet completed. Okay. So okay, okay. when you click this or drop down, then you can see some average. So unique ID are numbers. So it will, it will, it should not be some. So it's a unique. So we should count always distinct count. So if you click on distinct count, means unique counts are how many there. So it has given me six, nine, six. So six, nine, six. We can say that this is the number of games being played in IPL from 2008 till 2018. Okay. So if we go to some other functions, which is count, max, mean, average. So you can use this all and we will be using this in the coming sessions. So let's uh, do some modification to this. Uh, so first of all, we don't want this background of this uh, card. This is this is white background. So uh, let's uncheck this. It will remove the background. Then coming to our categories. So always uh, data. So we want the data to be in white. So it is there. And the data in these uh, headers should always be with 15, not 45. Let's make it 15 and see how it is uh, done. So 15, 25. Mm, it's looking better. 25 font. I'll make it 30. 30. Yes. Okay. So we can see here there is a another this uh, legend so we need to remove that as well uh, visual header okay let's go to title before that to the data level we should go and what and the, this should be your aerial black. It is much better, aerial black. Closing this category, we need to remove. It's done. Count, uh, which is showing count of matches, it's gone. Now we need to add a header. So I will type in here total matches okay and we want this in black okay let it be in black and yeah background color leave it what it is and header should be just 15 this is fine and this should be our area let's see it's adjustable or not in our header yes it is or uh, let's make the title more more small twelve yeah twelve is much better okay so this is how you can do this pretty simple steps okay so total matches let me just create three more copies because we don't have to repeat those those steps again and again. 
Sorry. Oh, I'm grabbing this. Okay, coming to here. Let's arrange it. Arrange it. It's much up. Let's drag it down. Okay. This one also drag. Let's drag it down. And let's change the name of this total matches total runs title and you can go total runs okay and for this also we can say simultaneously let's do it total balls okay. and now let's change the data how many balls are has uh, instead of balls, we should have something better here. Um, balls. Okay. Uh, what we can have except that. So let's total runs make it here first. You just cross this, it will remove your uh, particular column which you have added. So runs, you can go to delivery tab, sorry, delivery table, or you can say query and you can batsman, you can see here. Batsman run, batting team, baller, bowling team, by dismissal, extra, all these are there. So you just need to find total, you can see a total runs. If we go to our, our data and if we see on deliveries, but then if you drag towards right, then you can see here you can see here wide runs, by runs, leg by runs, no ball, penalty runs, batsman, extra runs, total runs. So all these sum ups, this you can see these all are summed up to have total runs. So we should pick the total run and just drag it to drop here okay and check it is some yes it is some so this is the, the total total runs scored okay now coming to here total balls part let us move this and Let's go there and ball. If you see the ball is there, then again we can drag and drop here, and it will give us the 596k is our total balls. So these are the three uh, three cards which we have added: total matches, total runs, total balls. In the next session. Uh, we will be adding slicers here okay two slicers uh, one of the teams and one of the seasons teams means which which team that particular is and season we will get it from this table that is matches table season means basically year which year that particular game is means we will add a year drop down there okay so that's all for this session. Hope uh, uh, everything is clear. Yes.